The goat man is a part man, part goat creature with the grotesquely deformed body of a man. It has powerful fur covered goat legs, a light skinned face with a hooked nose and wide set eyes. Short, sharp horns protrude from the forehead, nestled in long greasy hair that matches the color of the fur on the legs. There is more than one goat man. In fact, there are several, and they often follow the same pattern of erratic behavior, predatory diet, and half man, half goat hybrid features. Goat men have been reported in various parts of the country, especially in Maryland, Louisiana, and Texas. The goat man we're after, though, is reported to live beneath a railroad trestle bridge over Pope Lick Creek in Louisville, Kentucky. This is why it is also called the Pope Lick Monster. Numerous legends exist about this creature's origins. Some legends say that this human-goat hybrid was a circus freak who vowed revenge after being mistreated. In another version of the same story, it is said the cryptid escaped after the train derailed from the trestle, which actually links the Popelik monster to the legend of the ghost train, which has also been sighted on the trestle. Another version commonly told by locals of the area claims that the monster is really the twisted reincarnation of a farmer who sacrificed goats in exchange for satanic powers. The experiment legend is the most pervasive of them all, and it involves the nearby geneticist who supposedly confessed to crossing the DNA of a goat to that of his assistant, which naturally went horribly wrong. With sightings dating back to 1950, the methods it employs to claim its victims also seems diverse. Some accounts say the creature uses either hypnosis or voice mimicry to lure trespassers onto the trestle and meet their death at the hands of an oncoming train. Other stories claim the monster jumps down from the trestle onto the roofs of cars passing. More legends tell that it attacks its victims with a blood-stained axe and that the very sight of the creature is so unsettling that those who see it while walking across the high trestle are driven to leap to their death. There have been a number of deaths and accidents at the trestle since its construction, despite the presence of an eight-foot fence to keep thrill-seekers out. Well, we are going to climb that fence, from the safety of our homes, of course, and answer that burning question. Is the Popelik monster real or myth?